According to the Philadelphia Office of Homelessness, there are approximately 5,700 homeless people in the city. These people are in various states of homelessness from shelters to living on the street, as well as folks in temporary housing. With COVID-19 spreading like wildfire throughout the city, the danger is this population contracting COVID-19 and spreading it to other segments of the population. What if any preventative measures and treatments are being taken to protect the homeless from getting and spreading it? Community activists and city and state elected officials discussed what's being done to protect this vulnerable population. Brian Jenkins is the director of Chosen 300 Ministries, an organization that feeds the homeless population. The group has implemented safety measures to protect the homeless from COVID-19 during its Sunday morning program in Love Park. We intentionally, before anyone gets there, uh, we separate the chairs six feet apart. Um, but then also all the guests are given armbands with a number on it. So that way, um, when it's time to gather up for the meal, they're called by number 10 at a time. Monica McCurdy, the vice president for healthcare services and a physician assistant for Project Home, says the homeless face a greater risk of contracting COVID-19. We may have a lot of asymptomatic folks walking around and we just don't know it. Um, I do know that the incidence of chronic illness, any, any chronic illness, whether you're talking hypertension, diabetes, COPD, um, autoimmune disorders, cancer, I mean, folks that are homeless are generally more unhealthy than the general population because homelessness can make you sicker. Pastor Radon of the West Kensington Ministries explained what he has seen regarding the homeless and social distancing. There's not. From what I see, I don't see face masks. People still congregating in groups. So, and I think that the, the truth of it is, is like once those people, right, those people become infected or whatever, and then they start coming into other neighborhoods, that's when I think people are going to pay attention. City Councilman Curtis Jones Jr. and State Representative Morgan Cephas talked about the steps the city of Philadelphia and the state of Pennsylvania are taking to address these concerns. We look at all of the departments that are getting cut with the, by, this, um, by the downturn in revenue. Guess what? We're not cutting homeless services. In addition uh, to that, uh, several of my colleagues have introduced legislation to try to protect renters. We've extended the moratorium on eviction. We've done uh, sanitary hand washing stations around to try to get and encourage the homeless population to uh, deal with the hygiene issue. Uh, we work with our, our partners such as the Hub of Hope uh, to make sure that they can take showers. We've tried to uh, encourage socially responsible feeding areas. And um, one of the hot spots that we really have to get control over uh, is Kensington. But one of the things we are looking at and have been looking at is um, miniature homes. For the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, we will be spending $3.9 billion as a result of COVID coming from the federal government. And specifically for emergency housing solutions, um, we've been awarded 19 Point nine million dollars for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. So these are dollars that are going to homelessness prevention, emergency sheltering, rapid rehousing, street outreach, homeless management and information. Here are some of the next steps the city and the state are taking. That ensuring how we acted with a sense of urgency to put our homelessness, our home, our homeless population into hotel rooms. That means, well, we could have done that already. Or to, again, increase unemployment compensation, to offer paid sick leave, like all of these things that we have been able to do in a matter of seven weeks. We damn sure should be able to do it after COVID-19 because we've proved that we've been able to do it. So the rep and I, uh, along with others of my colleagues, have introduced a resolution to look at lessons learned mm -hmm. from COVID-19 and it crosses industries. 
So we're going to ask the police commissioner, what did you learn about law enforcement during a pandemic? We're going to ask um, hospitals, uh, what did you learn? What are we going to do differently uh, going forward? And one of the segments where lessons learned will be, will be with the homeless population. This is Connie Com reporting for Philly Cam Voices.